Okay, so here's a pile of paperwork I've been working on, um, Chris has been working on, and we have one, our shredder, more pile right there, and two more boxes of stuff right here. So we are organizing all of our paperwork. I want to know, like I keep all of our airline ticket stubs, um, I guess so I can scrapbook them when we, like a military scrapbook, I don't know, do you know what I'm talking about? Anyway, I want to do a military inspired scrapbook and I want to put all of our families like travel vouchers in it just to show where we've been and I'm going to start collecting them all and they've just been everywhere all over this house so now I have this huge pile and I also want to know like how many of you keep your like birthday cards and stuff like that or you know what I mean like do you keep them do you throw them away um, I don't want to offend anyone like if I throw them away so I've kept about 98% of all of my birthday cards since I was little so I have a huge stock pile of them and I still have a bunch in a, like I'm creating a new box in other words so let me know do you keep this stuff or do you just throw it away after so long well here's the chicken it's already cooked I made it in the crock pot and I just added water um I took out most of the water like the broth and now I'm going to add this uh, ready to serve mole I know don't judge probably the worst mole to make but I think it tastes fine um, it's quick easy inexpensive so that's what I'm doing for dinner today and for some reason we ran out of rice so I'm gonna have to run to the store to get some to make Spanish rice but um, dinner's almost done <laughs> and that is what you get when you have an Integra and you got five boxes of packing paper in one car it all fit I don't know how. How many boxes do we have in there? Uh, four boxes. Four. Going to the store? Yeah! We went to Walmart, uh, unscheduled stop. I didn't film it because we'd probably get upset. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, I got some hooks, some bobbers, which I'll show later, and the riggers for the middle. I don't know what they're called. I don't fish that much. Hooks, bobble, bob, the, the little red and white things, and then uh, weights. So we can throw it out. Uh, it's fish actually on the river. and. Uh, uh, lakes and stuff like that so it actually stay up there and then we also got uh, Sophia's body wash so she can try something new uh, some oil oil filter for the traverse it needs oil change but I forgot one more quart so I'm gonna have to get one at work tomorrow and then I'll change the oil this weekend sometime uh, you're gonna go to Winco now that's gonna be an adventure right guys get open Get out of there. No, get out of there. Boys, get in. Yeah. All the groceries we got. So the mole is done. Can't really see, it's kind of dark. Anyway, look at that, my poor baby. Chris biffed it in the forest while he was chasing rabbits. That's what it felt like. Dang, Poor Chris. Yard sale time. Chris can't get out though because he sprained his ankle. Maybe right there was. Unless he just has like a random ass couch in the freaking garage. Well, the only time we ever creep is when it looks like someone's going to come out and kill us. Uh, Leroy. 
Oh man, this is closed off. This Hills have eyes. Look, it says parking to the left. They even have a parking lot. That's pretty cool. It's an old ass cop car over there, too. I mean, people say he was less than a god, but more than a man. You know, like Hercules or something. That ball you just aced to the beast is worth well, more than your whole life, man. <laughs> Bottles and cash them in. We need 98 cents. We gotta buy us a ball. Quick yard sale haul. Okay, so you just saw footage from today, August 10th, 2013. Obviously, 2013. But anyway, we went to yard sales today and we picked up a few things and I wanted to show you a few items. Um, we picked up this game called The Game of Things. It's an adult game. It is not a sexually driven adult game. Um, but it's one of those that, you know, you can just hang out with friends and we play. are stocking up, up on board games because in our new home we're trying to build like a hangout lounge in our den. So we are stocking up and I got this for $5 and it's never been open. So that was good. And I picked up a Scentsy, um, can you see this? Anyway, it's in business casual. And if you've never smelled this, it smells like a freshly showered sexy man. Um, <laughs> it's like a cologne scent, but anyway, it's really, it smells really good. So I got that for $4. I think they're like normally five. And then at this other yard sale I went to, um, the lady was like, pick out five items and I'll give them to you for $4, like anything at her yard sale. So it took me a while to pick out, but I picked out this Pampered Chef uh, vegetable steamer and what you do is you put your vegetables in here with a little bit of water and you stick it in the microwave and it steams your vegetables and you can stick them in frozen as well so I thought that was pretty cool and then it has like holes so you could just drain it and then that's that so awesome and then along with that I got this tumbler like to mix drinks and it's in really great condition and then last but not least a movie uh, for the kids uh, okay, they so like to right. continue on, I just wanted to let you know that tomorrow, August 11th, 2013, Chris and I, we are headed to uh, many more yard sales because uh, tonight we pretty much laid out the design of our den and have decided to make it into like a bar inspired den with like 50s mixed in there. So uh, there's already a wet bar in the den. So we're going to play off of that and kind of um, figure out what we want in that room. If you've ever been to Chili's or like a sports bar, you notice that there's like license plates and just like really cool posters on the wall and just sport inspired stuff on the walls. We wanna do something like that for our den, which we're really excited. So we are thrifting most of that stuff tomorrow. Um, hopefully wish us luck but anyway I am doing another video that is going to be house decor and kitchen appliances and I'm gonna put that put that together probably tomorrow evening ish um, so you can see some of the things we've put together for our new home so I hope you enjoy that and um, I don't know like if you like these hauls I'll continue to do more hauls and stuff like that and just take you along with thrifting and yard sales so yeah, so I will talk to you probably tomorrow. Bye. There's something about the way the street looks when it's just rain. There's a glow.